hello students how are you hope you all are fine in previous video we did the c4 common noun and p4 proper noun ireland is the name of a particular country that's why it is a proper noun all is also the name of a particular bird that's why it is a proper noun kites means any kites you can take example so it is a common noun Delhi. Delhi is the name of a particular place or specific place. That's why it is a proper noun. Next is abstract noun. Students, abstract noun means the name of a quality, feeling or an idea which we can only think or feel but can never touch or see, never smell it, never hear. So, read the following sentence. My parents are proud of me. So, here proud. Proud is a feeling. Proud is an idea. We can't see it. We can't touch it. So, it is a it is an, an abstract noun. The price of this pen is low. So, the price we can't see it and we can't touch it so price is a abstract now is an abstract now the doctor was happy to see the progress of his patient patient's health so here happy and health are abstract nouns see here we know that we cannot touch either proud, price, happy, health. We can't touch it. All of them are qualities or ideas. So these are abstract noun and I have already told you that an abstract noun is the name of a quality, feeling or an idea which we can only think of think of or feel but can never touch or see see abstract noun are usually used in singular remember it abstract nouns are usually used in singular when used in plural they look like pleasure they look like pleasure, experiences, memories, etc. Abstract noun like unlike common and proper nouns do not name any person, animal or thing. Abstract no nouns are not like common or proper noun. Just like common noun are the name of a, any per, the name of common person, place, animal, thing. In the same way, proper noun also the name of a particular or specific person, place or thing. Underline the abstract noun in the following sentence. First, the music was very loud. So here, music is a feeling, idea, feeling. So it is, a, it is an abstract noun. My mother is of Hindu religion. So religion is also a, a also an abstract noun because you can't you can't see it, you can't taste it, you can't feel it, you can't see it, you can't touch it, you can't smell it. Honesty is a great virtue. So here honesty and virtue both are abstract noun both are abstract noun she knows the truth so truth is also an abstract noun snow white was known for her beauty so here beauty is an abstract noun rest of the sentence you will do it yourself match the following in the same manner 
like a dishonest man so it's abstract noun means dishonesty a foolish man means foolishness an angry neighbor means anger a high monument means height a crowdy soldier means a cowardly soldier cowardice so these are abstract noun like anger cowardice innocence growth foolishness death happiness freedom height dishonesty these are abstract noun next one is collective noun collective noun collective noun is a collection of persons animals or things taken together or considered as one whole as a group our class performed best in the exam here class means the group of students that's why it is a collective noun the shepherd was grazing the flock of of sheep sheep so here flock means the group of sheep here the noun class and flock are collective nouns it is because the class represents the group of students flock is a collective noun as it represents the group of sheep since they are not particular names <coughs> they appear they looks to be common noun but they are slightly different from the ordinary common noun like group of students class see collective noun is a collection of persons animals or things taken together or considered as one whole as one whole they can have their plural forms like class classes for flock flocks fleet fleets bunch bunches and crew crews like so they can have their plural forms some collective nouns are like a team of players means group of players means team group of bees swarm a swarm of bees a herd of elephants means group of elephants a colony of ants a band of singers a cluster of stars or you can say ga galaxy of stars a cluck a cluck of eggs a bundle of sticks a bunch of keys a herd of cows next see the exercise following phrases are have been written with wrong forms of collection noun collective nouns correct them and write them in the space provided see a flight of cards it's a wrong it's a right form will be a pack of cards a team of students it's wrong a class of students a band of soldiers it is wrong it will be an army of soldiers an army of map no atlas of maps a flock of cars means a flight of cars this is the right form rewrite the following sentence change the noun given in color into their collective form 
like the book is stacked into the cupboard so the group of books means the library of books are stacked into the cupboard give me the key group of keys called bunches give me the bunch of keys the expert gave an opinion on the matter so the group of expert called panel the panel of experts gave an opinion on the matter the sailors boarded the ships mean the group the sailors group called crew the crew of sailors boarded the ships mrs chopra on luxury cars so group of cars called fleet M mrs chopra was on luxury fleet of cars his secretary booked rooms of the meeting his secretary booked so suites of rooms rest of the sentences you will do in the same manner next countable and uncountable noun countable noun means which you can count uncountable means which you cannot count read the following sentence she drank two cup of coffee in the morning so cups are countable human breathe in air to survive so students can you count the air no you can't count it so air is uncountable here two cups of coffee is countable but air is not countable therefore cup is a countable noun air is an uncountable noun nouns with which can be counted are countable noun example books cups tables pans comb doors table chair tv these are countable noun uncountable noun nouns which cannot be counted are uncountable nouns like tea milk sugar air water milk these are uncountable noun write c for countable noun and u for uncountable noun like key key you can count it so it is a countable noun flowers you can count it countable noun in the same way so pan these are countable noun air water these are uncountable noun box countable noun slice countable noun so students these this is your noun chapter hope you understand it and write down or practice this chapter in your notebook thank you and have a nice day